What's up everybody? John here with another video for those of you that are interested in getting a job on board a cruise ship. This video's topic is going to be all about the ports of call. One of the big things that people who want to work on cruise ships want to do is explore the ports of call that that cruise ship will be visiting. And a lot of the questions that I've been getting is, John, Will I have time to get off and visit all these ports? Will I be able to see the world? Will I be able to enjoy these ports? And the answer is yes. Yes, you will. However, there are going to be a couple of factors that go into play on the amount of time and the consistency of you getting off and enjoying those ports. So yes, you will be able to enjoy your time in the ports. Um, the amount of time will depend on your schedule. Now, I don't mean to scare you when I say some ports you won't be able to get off, and I don't mean that's going to be happening every time you visit that port, um, and I'll get to that in a minute, but there may be some ports that you might not get as much time off in that you would like, or that the guests get off in. So you might only get a couple of hours when the guests will get five, six, seven hours off in the port. You might get three or four hours in the port, and that's okay because you'll be there every week and they won't be. Uh, so there's a lot of factors that will go into play on your time in, in port, but you will be able to enjoy the ports of call on your ship that you're working on. Uh, the first couple of cruises that you join a ship, especially if you're brand new, you're not going to be able to get off right away in some of the ports because that's when they schedule your training, because there's going to be a majority of the guests off the ship, so there's not going to be that much of a need for you to be actually working. So you'll be doing some of the training, which is kind of along the culture of the, of the cruise line. You know, maybe you'll be working with your department on some of their expectations and needs, uh, and you'll do your safety training at that time as well. Once you get those first couple of cruises done, then you'll be on normal schedule with everybody else. You wake up in the morning, the ship pulls into port, you can get off right away. You might have to work a little bit and then get off, or you might be able to get off and then come back and go to work. It will all depend. Now, what I was saying before is that there will be sometimes you can't get off. Every cruise, each department needs to have a certain group uh, of people within their department that need to stay on board for the remainder of that cruise. So it's kind of like uh, they rotate. So every department has a different amount of people that they need to do. For entertainment, we needed 12 people. So every cruise, 12 people from the entire entertainment department needed to stay on board. So you would take your ID at the beginning of the cruise and you'd put it in the box. They called this port manning. Um, other cruise lines have different names for it. Um, so we'll just go with port, port manning, the port staff, we'll call it. Because when you're in port, there's not that much going on on board, but there's still duties that need to be done. So a lot of departments will use that to staff the people who work while the ship is in port. So every once in a while you have to kind of take one and say, all right, well, I'm working during the day, and then you'll probably wind up having off in the evening when everybody else is working when it's really busy. So you'll have to work when it's not busy, and you won't be able to enjoy the ports, but you'll get your evenings off. Now the reason for this is it would be just in the event of there ever being an emergency while the ship is in port, they need to have some crew members there to direct the guests to get off. So it's not going to be as much of a full-scale um, emergency drill like they do once a cruise at the beginning with all the guests and all of the crew. It'll be kind of like a smaller scale. Uh, most of it revolves around standing in the stairwells and directing the guests down to the bottom where the gangway is to get off the ship in the event of an emergency. But they need to have, you know, team members from each department that are representing. So that's going to be the only time that you're not going to be able to get off. Um, or if you get in trouble and your ID gets taken away, you can't get off either. Um, or if you have to work, maybe it's busy and your manager or your boss wants to schedule the person that needs to stay on board and then an extra person to stay on board. So it, it's all up in the air. I can't say that you'll be guaranteed to get off every single port, you know, every week of your cruise, of your contract. So I can't say that. There's a lot of factors that go into play. But for the most part, you'll be able to get off and enjoy. Uh, once a month, what they needed to do on our ships was they needed to do a crew drill, which was a full-on safety drill. Uh, when the guests come on board at the beginning of the cruise, it's a safety briefing. It just kind of goes over all the highlights and it directs them where to go. For the crew drill, it's all of that, and then it brings you all the way to the end, all the way to where the lifeboats um, enter the water and stuff like that. So on those days, once a, once a cruise, all the crew has to stay on board, go through that whole drill before they can get off. Uh, the ones that are able to get off. So once a month you'd have to do a crew drill. It was usually early in the morning as soon as the guests got off. Uh, maybe like two hours after the guests get off. They make a bunch of announcements saying, 
There's going to be a bunch of alarms, a bunch of sirens, a bunch of noise. It's nothing to panic about. It's a drill. Just make sure that you're mindful of the time so you don't get back to the ship late. If you get back to the ship late, they're going to take your ID and they're going to hold on to it for a little while and you might not be able to get off the ship for a couple of days. Um, if you do it more than once, the uh, punishment starts getting a little bit worse all the way up to the point where if you do it enough, they're gonna just say goodbye, we don't, we don't want you anymore. So that's kind of like a brief little overview of the port time um, that you have while you're working as a crew member. If you have any questions at all about the ports and the ports of call that you might be visiting, um, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Also, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I got a lot more videos on their way about all different types of topics for those of you that are interested in working on board a cruise ship. I may have a couple more videos coming up soon that maybe go into specifics about some of the ports, um, but just wanted to kind of give you an idea for those of you that were worried, that were concerned that you might not be able to have any time to get off and enjoy the ports of call. You will, it's just, it's gonna come with some, some guidelines and some rules. Uh, so once again, thanks again for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Comment below, like, subscribe. I got more coming. Check out my other videos. And I hope that I'm able to provide you with information for those of you that are interested in getting a job on board a cruise ship. Once again, I'm John, and I'll see you later.